Hi everybody, Mike from RMT family. Well, what do you see behind me? That is not a wildfire, no. It's actually burning season here in Montana, which means if you live out in the boonies like we do, um, to prevent wildfires close to your home, you need to clean up and you need to burn all that stuff. So what we got here, these are mainly pine needles and pine cones and then there's a little bit of uh, windfall otherwise like little branches like here this one in there but other than that it's mostly pine needles also we get tall grass they're basically weeds that we need to get rid of and burn down so the good grass can grow so that our sheep can graze on it and uh, so yeah we're burning today again We've been burning over the past few weeks on and off. Uh, we had nice weather like we have today. Then we got snow, rain in between, it cooled off. And it is pretty tough to burn under those conditions. As you can see up there, it all turned green already. So you can't burn anymore once it turns green. Um, so you gotta be before that. So there's some green in here and some dry stuff in here and this part here right in front of us that has been growing uh, or been is, is a growing fire we started way over there and it moved itself over here with the wind which that is what we want uh, makes it a lot easier on us um, <clears throat> so we don't have to rake everything up here where it's green we had to rake all of that and well i can walk up there we can go a little closer we got a big old pile actually today it's not that big yet but the size of this pile up here this is the main burning pile we have that we've been raking and bringing everything up here today i shoveled out underneath the pile that was actually you can see the, the circumference how big it was it was the leftover ashes uh, from last year and this year and i got that all shoveled out and we actually used that to fill in low spots on the property um, we got lots of holes like here and there those are low spots, there used to be trees there, or um, like here, this is more from rabbits trying to dig. So we filled those in with the ashes, actually that ashes already started to decompose and uh, basically turns back into soil. So yeah, um, you can see the fire nicely keeps going. It's wonderful behind the fire right here that's where i start raking <clears throat> getting whatever it doesn't burn we haven't burned like this in many years in about 12 years so it's desperately needed otherwise if there's a wildfire this is what a wildfire will bite excuse me this is what a wildfire will do it will come down like this just usually much faster and much stronger much hotter so we got to burn this and get rid of this so that we do not have a fire burning down our home. Um, if you're burning here in Montana, you need to apply for a permit. You apply for this permit every year. Um, I believe it's like $7. And every day you're burning, you have to either call in or go online and activate the permit. So that the fire department knows what you're doing. And every day when you do this, you have to specify what you're doing, if you're burning piles or if you're burning the ground, broadcast burning, um, so that they know what's going on. Uh, especially out here, we got lots of people that come out into the forest to recreate, recreate um, riding horses, ATVs, side-by-sides, whatever, walking, hiking, jogging, 
bicycling, whatever all they do. And they come by here and they see this big old fire and they, they may get concerned and call the fire department and say, hey, there's a fire. So then the fire department checks their records and says, oh no, they're actually burning. There's no fire there. A lot of people are not aware of burning like this. Um, most people think only the fire department is allowed to do burns like this, but that's not the case. Landowners out here, we need to burn like this as well to protect our home. Get rid of all these pine needles that just choke everything to death and then there's just weeds growing instead of grass. Um, so yeah, this is what we're doing today. Um, this can get a little exciting at times when the wind picks up. Um, the fire all of a sudden really runs, so you got to be ready, got to have water ready, you got to have hand tools around, um, you got to prepare. So if you look around here, so right here, right to there, we got um, pine needles and right around the tree it's clear. So I rake that up so that we don't catch the tree on fire. Same thing I did over here as we're coming towards our wood pile. I rake this back from the wood pile to here so we don't catch the wood pile on fire. Yeah, this is the exciting thing we do today on a Sunday. <laughs> um, it was nice weather. Um, it was supposed to rain according to forecast. We had a few drops, but as you can see, we have nice blue Montana sky and uh, there will be a few drops here and there. But the saying Montana is, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes and it will change. All right, so that was just a little video about the burning here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you get to see new videos that we bring out. Uh, about us living here in rural Montana. Uh, we also make videos about our car as we're driving an electric vehicle. We are driving a Tesla Model 3 and so we have some videos about that. My daughter, that's 12 years old, she makes some videos about the critters um, and her chores that she has to do. So we got all kinds of exciting stuff. So please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, it is about six hours later, uh, about six hours ago I shot the video. I thought I'll just show you real quick how this looks here now. I'm in the same spot right now where I shot the video. So over here we started burning and we still got this pile here going. That's the stuff that we raked up after burning because it's so thick here just the top layer burned off so we had to rake and we can follow the path of the fire you can see the fire kind of goes all over the place here um, it's pretty hard to light a fire if you want to light one it's super easy to do and create a wildfire if you don't want to do it <laughs> so you can see it burned a little bit here a little bit there um, we had some wind, the wind changed directions, uh, we had a little bit of rain in between. Um, at, at one point I had to help the fire out a little bit with the torch. So we came around here, we burned all this, burned down there. But down there it's way too wet. As you can see, there's puddles, standing water everywhere. It's still super wet here. so. But yeah, so we raked many piles together after burning and these will have to burn as well. We'll put those up on the main pile that I showed earlier and burn them up there. Back here we haven't raked yet. You can see the fire went up, came down and then here it went pretty narrow right here and right there. And then it spread out up the hill and down the hill. <clears throat> and over here, pine cones and needles are super thick. I mean, we have like three, four inches thick 
layer and so it burned pretty good over here um, but it just burned kind of the top layer and so we had to start raking and so that's why we still got a pile there going got a pile here got a pile there got a couple more piles burning back over here so yeah um, all three of us been working on this most of the day I'm sure I got good smell to me right now after being in the smoke all day so this here is the fence line and you can see here it went over a little bit but not much no big deal I'm sure the neighbor is not mad he probably needs to burn sooner or later anyway so yeah this is how it looks like after you burned and it's a lot of hard work because you can't just let it go and sometimes you don't want to go and it gets you tired but you don't need no gym membership <laughs> you just work here at home and uh, get your exercise here all right so i just wanted to show you this real quick this is how it looks like six hours later well and again if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please subscribe hit the like button um, if you'd like to see more videos like this or let me know what you like to see so take care bye